Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the Good Life Outdoors. It's been a while since I've done a kayak update, and I want to let you know I got a new one. It's a little micro skiff. It is a Hoodoo Hero 130. I've paired it with a six horsepower Suzuki outboard. It's a great combination. I want to share with you what I've done to it so far and let you know why I picked this kayak. If you've been following the channel for a while, you've seen me fishing for my Hobie Pro Angler 14 foot kayak. I've had this for several years now and it is a fishing beast. And I've enjoyed it. It's fun to pedal around. I can get where I need to go. I've caught all sorts of fish, all sorts of different kinds of fish from it. But it's time to find something new. So I found it a new home and I've moved on to the Hoodoo Hero 130. Now I picked up the Hoodoo Hole from a local YouTuber and he had kept it pretty much as it came from the factory. All he did was add a casting platform on top of the center hatch cover. That was a great platform for me to add a swivel seat, of course the new motor, and a couple rod holders. My goal with this kayak is to keep it as clutter free as possible, only add things I need. It does have pretty decent storage under the seat and in the front hatch, and I do have some necessities stored in there. But I know what you're really interested in hearing about is why I chose a kayak with an outboard motor. And the answer is speed. I enjoy fishing before work in the morning. And with this new setup, I can get out to my fishing spots upwards of three times faster than I would with my Hobie, which gives me a ton more time to fish, get on the fish, stay on the fish, and be able to get back in time for work. The Hero is rated for up to a six horsepower outboard, so I chose the Suzuki DF6, and it pushes this skiff about 10 miles an hour, plenty fast enough to get out to the fishing and back. This little four-stroke outboard sips gas. I get five to six miles of range out of its built-in tank, so carrying an extra gallon of gas, I can stay on the water all day long if I need to. And it's light enough to move around easily. I built a mounting plate on my truck so I can transport it upright, have it ready to go when I get to my fishing spot. Plus, it's easy to do my after fishing maintenance right there in the bed of the truck where it's at eye level. The Hero's hull is significantly lighter than my Hobie. It's easy to get in and out of the truck, very easy to launch. When I first got the motor in, I needed to break it in and do some test runs. So I got out, figured out how it fished, and then got to work on making this thing work for me as a fishing platform. A comfortable place to sit while I was driving was a must have. So I picked up a nice boat seat with a swivel base and mounted it directly on the casting platform the previous owner had installed. This gives me the back support I need to operate this thing comfortably. The Hero comes with quite a few gear tracks and I was able to add a flag holder, rod holders, paddle keepers, even a coffee cup holder. And that's a necessity for fish in the mornings. So now that it's geared up the way I like, I've been going out and testing it out. And let me tell you, it is awesome. Having this outboard to push me out to my fishing spots quicker is a game changer. And I'm having a blast finding new spots to fish and of course, catching the fish. And I have definitely found the fish with this skiff. I've gone out several days now. I have fished over flats, along grass lines, in deeper water, and it's performed well all the way around. It's a great fishing platform, and while it's different from the Hobie, it does very well, especially down here on the South Texas coastal waters. On the water, this thing is a pleasure to pilot around. As with any small craft, it clearly does much better if it's nice and calm outside, but I've run it through some pretty significant chop. And while, yeah, I have to slow down and kind of be a little bit more conscious of it being a bit top heavy, it does pretty well through that as well. One thing to note on the Hero, especially as compared to the Hobie, is there's a 
fair amount of flex to the hull. It's not as rigid as the Hobie. And I feel like it would probably perform a bit better under power if it was a bit more rigid. Now, it's still perfectly usable and it's comfortable to stand on. You don't feel like it's flimsy. It's just a considerable difference as compared to the Hobie. Now granted, the Hobie's hull is much heavier than the Hero's hull, and that probably has a lot to do with how rigid it is. Now one area where the Hero far outshines the Hobie is with paddling. And I was really surprised with this because at 40 inches wide, the Hero is actually a couple inches wider than the Hobie. The Hobie was just difficult to paddle. It didn't maneuver well without its drive system. So paddling it was uncomfortable, it didn't turn well. But the Hero paddles like a much smaller kayak, much more easy to maneuver, much easy to turn around. And this is part of why it's such a good fishing kayak, because you're not going to have your motor down and running while you're fishing some of the shallows. You'll have it up and out of the way, and you can still paddle around and fish and feel like you have control over your vessel. Uh, slimy. Oops, sorry, buddy. The Hero is also incredibly stable. It's easy to stand and pull yourself around with your paddle, and I'll probably end up getting a push pole so that I have more control over this because I'm fishing like this all the time now. It also floats in just a few inches of water, even with my big body on there. Once you have the motor up and out of the way, you can go in pretty much any water and be able to comfortably float around and get to the fish. This Hoodoo Hero 130 is an awesome little micro skiff. I'm having a blast learning how to use it, and I'm looking forward to sharing more adventures on it with you. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you following along. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.